Oh yeah. So I will add today, I will guarantee that we will stop around 8.30 and I'll not keep you until 9. Uh, so that means less my blah, blah, uh, more reading the text and, uh, you know, the engaging in early meditation and some recitations. So as uh, always we do here, you know, at the beginning of the gathering, uh, to make sure our intention being here uh, and to participate in the activities such as recitation, meditation, listening to the talk, contemplation, and also at the end, a short dedications to participate in these activities with a positive, a constructive uh, thought or the mind uh, will be extremely useful and helpful. And we all know that from our own experiences. So therefore, try, try all our best to have a, a a positive mind that can be a simple, straightforward, a common sense, you know, the ordinary positive mind, or it can be, you know, spiritually, religiously, philosophically uh, motivated, a positive mind. And that is up to the individuals. So uh, that is what this first, you know, the part of the class that we are going to do. We are going to spend just one or two minutes in silence uh, to, to, to hold that positive intention to join the class. And those people who have been following the teachings of the Buddha as a your spiritual journey, spiritual path, then it is you know the useful and helpful to join the class with the mind taking refuge in Buddha as a one's own spiritual teacher, mentor, his teachings, Dharma as an actual means, methods to be experienced, to be applied in our daily lives, 
and his Sangha as a one's own spiritual friends and uh, supporters and they take refuge in three jewels, Buddha, Dharma and the Sangha with a strong uh, mind, clear and strong mind, thinking, you know, the oneself uh, and also others be to be free from any form of dukkha, sufferings, and the origins of sufferings. For that reason, you know, I'm here uh, to participate uh, these activities with this, you know, the mind taking refuge. Uh, that will be helpful. And also people who are following within the teachings of the Buddha, you know, Bodhisattva and the teachings, then it is again useful to join the class from our heart, uh, uh, a clear and a strong mind, thinking, feeling, and uh, you know, concerning well-beings of many, many living creatures, not just one's own well-beings, of course that is important, but uh, being able to include well-beings of all living creatures. And for that purpose, for that reason, I'm here to participate in the class. So with that kind of mind, then now we are going to read uh, in the prayer book, page 27, Refuge and Bodhicitta Lines, people who like to join with me. Sanjay-chadha-cho-je-cho-nam-la-chan-ju-pa-do-ta-ne-cha-so-je-dage-cho-che-je-be-cho-nam-je-dro-la-pen-je-san-je-cho-pa-cho. Sanjay-chadha-cho-je-cho-nam-la Chanju Pado Dane Jaso Che Dage Jin So Ji Be Tso Naman Ji Do La Pen Je San Je Do Pa Sho San Je Che Da Tso Ji Cho Nam La Chanju Pado Dane Jaso Che Dage jin so ye be tso na man ji Dro la pen je san je dro pa sho Oh yeah With this positive and constructive intention to join the class. Now we'll do a short silent meditation. And the purpose of this meditation is simply to nurture, to enhance a calm, clear and focused mind. Mind which has qualities of stillness, that is, our minds have the ability to stay with one given meditation object or to the present, right here and now, and to cultivate clarity. Clarity in the sense while the mind is with the object of the meditation to the present, it is fully aware of the object of the meditation. The full awareness is present. So for that purpose, we'll do this short silent meditation.
the next is part of the this reading this text as an oral transmission. Now we are going to read in this uh, single page photocopy lineage prayers. Lineage prayers. Mm -hmm. While we are reading the lineage prayers, very strongly and vividly, imagine the historical Buddha, Gautama is present where the Buddha statue is, not in a form of statue, but as a real person with his all the great qualities, particularly his fully cultivated great uh, compassion, loving kindness towards all living creatures, and that includes us, and also his fully developed great wisdoms, wisdoms such as realizing the nature of impermanence, nature of dukkha, and wisdom realizing the things and events as they are, the emptiness. So the strongly uh, imagined that uh, the historical Buddha is present. And he is surrounded by all those past and the present great teachers, like some of those great Indian masters like Nagarjuna, Asanga, and uh, in the around 11th century, great, this great Indian master who came to Tibet, Atisha, who had a strong connection to the text that we are reading, and also some of those great Tibetan teachers like Jasonkhaba, the 14th century great Tibetan teacher, that text that we are reading, and some of those present great teachers like His Holiness, the Dalai Lamas, you know, the, whom many of us received teachings, the same text, and also some other teachings. Uh, so the, create, a, create, a, create an atmosphere, create an environment that uh, feeling all these past and the present great teachers are in front of us. And uh, with that, uh, read the lineage prayers together. <clears> oh, <throat> oh, Shaja <laughs> Time Lord Lord 
And the preparation is not just, this preparation is not just for the class. I usually say, many of you know this, you know, particularly the first two, you know, the setting a positive intention and then cultivating a calm, clear, and a focused mind. That kind of uh, activities, you know, is not just only at the beginning, useful at the beginning of the class. It is really useful uh, to do this at the beginning of the day, when the day we start, you know, start with a positive thought, how we are going to spend the day. And, uh, you know, the, also, uh, if we can, if you can spend four, five, six minutes or a little bit longer to build a sense of, you know, the calm, clear, clear, and a relaxed mental state, you know, to a brief breathing meditation or any kind of, you know, the uh, activity that uh, help to uh, nurture, to increase that kind of mental state, then enter uh, into, you know, the, uh, the daily uh, events. And that way it is very, very helpful. So, you know, the, it is not just for the class. It is also, I usually do this, you know, to, to have, a, have a, some kind of habit, to build a habit, you know, being able to do this uh, at the beginning of the day, at the beginning of, uh, of an event that you are going to do. And gradually, you know, that will become part of you know, our way of starting the day, our way of starting an event. And that way, you know, the, uh, we are in a better sort of 
uh, mentally, at least mentally, we are in a better position, you know, the, to how to deal with the daily, you know, challenges and uh, daily, you know, the activities, and uh, that is really, really helpful. Oh yeah. Now the actual sort of today's reading, and uh, as just in case if there are a few people completely new, we are reading a text which we started more than two years ago, and uh, it is reading a part of oral transmission. Uh, this is a part of tradition, you know, reading line by line, uh, uh, in this case in Tibetan, and to give, uh, say, the oral transmission. And also during that, uh, you know, some of the important parts to, uh, to give a little, you know, brief comment, and that, uh, that's the, you know, the style of this evening class. And we are really very much end of the text, you know, end of the text, and uh, also end of the main, one of the main important topics, that is the emptiness, wisdom uh, cultivating, wisdom realizing emptiness, selflessness, shunyata, anatma in Sanskrit, and uh, consider as a extremely important uh, understanding to be cultivated, to be developed. And our, our today's reading, I'm going to briefly going to uh, in a touch on last Wednesday's reading that I haven't managed to say one or two important point in that section. And our reading, sec uh, the reading that we are going to start the section is when somebody, you know, uh, have uh, somebody who has cultivated, who has developed, you know, this wisdom, wisdom realizing emptiness. Then in the, in the scriptures, in the teachings, have mentioned, have said, those people, those people who have the understanding of emptiness, either conceptual level or direct perceptual level, when they have the understanding of emptiness, and when they come out from that kind of meditative state, come out from that kind of mindset, you know, wisdom realizing emptiness, either in the conceptual or in the perceptual, direct perceptual level, and when those come out from the you know, meditative state and uh, technically called post-meditation uh, period, in that period, Due to the power of you know the, that realization, that understanding, you know they uh, you know how they perceive, how they perceive the things and events, you know the, how the things and events appear to them, and how they think the things and events are, you know there's a, this you know the uh, uh, difference, you know the difference. They, you know, the, and in that context, in the scriptures, uh, the, the analogy is given, you know, the illusion-like, illusion-like appearance, illusion-like understanding. And that's the section that we are reading last two Wednesday evening. Uh, and uh, today I'm going to say a few, uh, one or two important points in that area before to move to the next uh, part, and that is reading people who have got the the text. You know, the, uh, it is on page uh, one five six. One five six. Mm. And the uh, one five six from the you know the uh, the uh, paragraph from the bottom that uh, that big paragraph paragraph which starts saying to express the method of seeking the seeking that certainty uh, so in here which I'm going to this actual section that we are reading is you know the to those practitioner to those people who have direct reality who have understanding of emptiness you know the uh, then when they come out from the you know, the uh, meditative state, and they, when they engage in their, their daily routine activities, they have this illusion-like 
you know, the appearance, you know, illusion-like appearance in the sense, uh, you know, the things and events, including their identity, whatever they are engaging in, all those things and events appear to them as a solid, as a concrete, as a independent, as a inherent, you know, that kind of appearance, like we have that kind of appearance. But to them, for the, for the, for the people, for the persons who have that understanding, for them, that, that, that kind of appearance is wrong, and wrong in the sense that things and events you know, do not exist in that manner, in the manner of concrete, inherent, independent, you know, uh, finger pointable, you know, the, uh, that kind of, you know, uh, mode of appearance is not true. That kind of mode of appearance is false appearance. And that is what here, uh, illusion-like, illusion-like. But uh, for, you know, the, for the practitioner who have the, their, who have the understanding, that is their sort of more or less their, you know, their, what you call the, how they perceive, how they see, how they ap- apprehend when they come out of, from the, from the, from the, you know, meditative equipoise on emptiness. But uh, people may get confused, you know, for certain practices. Even they are, you know, trying to understand the emptiness. And their understanding of emptiness in a certain stage, tools. But when they come, you know, they may have some sort of, some similarity of that kind of appearance and uh, reality. But, uh, you know, to make it very clear exactly what is illusion like understanding, what is, is illusion like realization, then there are this. Uh, the actual section that we are reading is the you know in the previous uh, what's called the, in the previous uh, page page one five five saying the methods employed for the arisal of illusion that's what here we are reading in that so in this paragraph page one five six uh, this long big paragraph Jason Kappa explains you know the. Jasongaba explains really the to make sure to make sure that you know the, your experience of illusion like your understanding of illusion like is the accurate not a misunderstanding not a, not not false you know the understanding of illusion like and here that is what you know the in this uh, in this paragraph he gave how to do that, how to make sure that, and how to enhance that illusion-like experience, illusion-like realizations. You know, the, uh, in this paragraph, that is what it's explained. If you look at saying, you know, the, uh, uh, to express the method of seeking that certainty, certainty in the sense of illusion-like experience is correct one, right one, certainty, uh, in a uh, uh, in an easy, uh, easily, you know, understandable way, having, initi- having initiated uh, the proper arousal in, uh, in general of the above explained rational negati, that's the which we have seen earlier, you know, to understand, you know, the, uh, to have this, uh, what's called the proper meaning of understanding of illusion-like experience, Individuals, practitioner must have the accurate, you know, precise understanding of what is absent, what is negated in that appearance. Things and events appear have a solid, concrete, independent, inherent appearance, have that kind of appearance to us, you know, the, but that those appearances are false you know, that kind of solid, independent. So what is that false appearance? Having that accurate understanding of false appearance is very important, and that's what he is saying. Explain rational and negate negative. 
one should identify it by uh, considering thoroughly how one's own misunderstanding rarefies intrinsic realities. So rarefies or, you know, make it sort of more, you know, believing, strongly believing, strongly crave, uh, clinging, that kind of uh, things and events have a intrinsic realities, you know, the uh, independent reality as they are, instead of they are the, you know, they are coming to being under many different, you know, causes, conditions and factors, you know. Mm-hmm. Then it says this, then considering specifically the pattern wherein if such intrinsic reality exists, uh, it will not go beyond sameness or the difference. This is the reasons you know, that we use in the, uh, I think the, in the previous program that we read, uh, the, using the different logical reasons, you know, saying, and I will not go that. And the process within, you know, the uh, devastate, yeah, devastating ratif- uh, uh, refutation. Uh, how do you pronounce that next one? Ac- accrue. What does that mean? Come oh, come together. Hmm. Hmm. <laughs> to the appearance and the, uh, either uh, alternative. This is what, you know, which uh, manually we have done. Then it says, one should derive the certainty that this, uh, that, that is aware of the refutations. In other words, through the reasoning, through the contemplation analysis, when after having accurate understanding of what is the falsity of the, within the appearance, then that appearance, you know, that falsity appearance are negated, in this case, intrinsic reality, in independent entity is negated. That's what here it is saying, refutation, you know, uh, that is aware of the refutations. Finally, one should confirm the uh, certitude that, uh, that considered uh, that there is, an, there is not even the slightest intrinsically real status in the person. In other words, person in the sense of and all things and events that include a person, individual, a doer, experiencer, and that's what's saying. Mm-hmm. So this certainty, certainty that kind of very sure, that kind of very sure and very sort of you know the uh, 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 confidence or very sure or very clear. There isn't any intrinsic, any even the trace of intrinsic entity within the things and events as there are. Any kind of independent entity within the things and events as there are. And that, that is really something important part of this thing. And one should cultivate repeatedly such certainty in a derivation in the emptiness orientation. So this is the one part, you know, that to, to really to build, and this is only, you know, according to this kind of t- traditions, that kind of certainty, that kind of sure, that kind of conviction will grow, not just in a belief system, but through the analysis, through the rational examination, whether there is whether appearance of intrinsic, inherent, independent is really there or not, and through that, then you know the, uh, according to these you know teachings, we will reach a conclusion. Things and events do not have any kind of intrinsic or inherent independent entity as they are. They all are, you know, absence of that kind of entity. And that kind of absence, that kind of emptiness should be very, very clear. And that's what here the term is used, orientate, or orientation, the emptiness orientation, emptiness orientation. That kind of, you know, like a one's own mind, 
one's own entire mind is soaked in that kind of feeling, in that kind of experience, experience of empty of any intrinsic or inherent. Uh, that is, you know, what here, the part of the, you know, this, to have this uh, uh, illusion-like experience. Then it says, then one should become uh, involved in the, uh, in the appearances of conventional. So the appearances of conventional, as I mentioned last reading. Here the appearances, appear, this word has to be taken, uh, has to be understood within the context. In Tibetan appearance, in Tibetan number, you know, here the term is used, appearance. You know, the intrinsic appearance of intrinsic reality, appearance of inherent reality, that appearance is rejected. That appearance is, you know, seen, is false appearance, those appearance. Intrinsic, inherent, independent, whatever term that you use, you know, and that, that kind of appearance is, you know, the false appearance, things and events do not exist uh, in that fashion of appearances, you know, the, so that's the one. But appearance of, another appearance, appearance of, for example, you know, uh, the table functioning, holding the books, you know, the, as a table, uh, and so on and so forth. Cause produces result, you know, the, and when we say you can hear, when, you know, the, uh, we can interact, we can talk to each other, make sense of our conversation, and so on and so forth. That kind of appearance is also there. And that is also called appearance. And that is here it's called, you know, the conventional, conventional, appearances of conventional. In this case, you know, the, the conventional reality of the things and events. Sun arise, you know, the day continue, and whatever we do, there is a consequences, and, you know, the, and so on and so forth. All these things and events that give us joys, happiness, fulfillment, same pain, difficulty, sorrow, limita limitation, and so on and so forth. All those you know, the building blocks of the universe, atoms and so on. They are, they are also, you know, conventional, appearances of conventional, you know, the, not appearances of ultimate, but appearances of conventional. So that should not be rejected. That should not be, you know, uh, uh, we shouldn't, we shouldn't, uh, think we shouldn't, you know, the what you call the uh, see, or we shouldn't think, if you know that that levels of appearance, the conventional levels of appearance are rejected. That is the, not the case. That's a, not the case, and that's what here it's the, the second part. You know, the earlier that we say, uh, you know, in the uh, in the emptiness orientation. That's what one certain levels of appearance are rejected, empty of, you know, emptiness. Then one should become involved in the appearances of conventional person, you know, undeniably arise, uh, arising as object of cognition. In other words, you know, the, yes, my identity, you know, the, as a, you know, as a, as a person, uh, or my body. The solid, con this, you know, the uh, body, my feelings, pain, pleasure, you know, these are undeniable. Their existence is undeniable because these are there. You know, the, my identity is there, my feelings there, my body is there, my, you know, and when I act, I will experience, you know, the, when I talk to you, you can hear, these are undeniable. These are conventionally exist. So reaffirming, in other words, on the one hand, 
you know, my body, my identity, my feelings are empty of intrinsic, inherent, you know, I should sort of fully, you know, my mind fully sort of soaked or fully sort of immersed into that kind of absent, intrinsic, inherent absence of identity, feelings, bodies, my aims, my goals, and so forth. Same time, I should fully conform myself, fully sort of convince myself my identity does exist, my feeling does exist, my activities does exist. So this kind of, you know, and what is here saying, undeniably, deniable, deniably arising as an object of cognition and such, um, and such cultivate attitude orientated towards uh, relativity, in other words, relativity in the sense conventionally, the arising and you know, disappearing, coming, going, and that's what here, relativity. Um, where in the conventional person is represented as the, you know, the uh, accumulator in the sense doer, actor, you know, of the uh, actions, you know, the, and the experiencer of the result of the actions, uh, one should discover, you know, the certitude uh, the, the, about the systems where, uh, where in relativity is viable without any intrinsic reality. So up to here is something like a conclusion, the point that we have been reading in the last two Wednesday evenings. And that is what useful to look at, you know, how to bring these two, you know, appearance and the reality, you know, the uh, yeah, emptiness on the one hand, yet fully functioning, fully performing. You know, the, there's nothing uh, is negated in the conventional sense. My actions are not negated. My feelings are not negated. Result of my actions are not rejected. Everything is there, full, yet it is completely negated, rejected, the intrinsic entity, the inherent entity. And these two mental states that we need to sort of, you know, alternate one way of comparing one, then in that way, illusion like, you know, the realization will become very part of our, you know, the, uh, our, what you call the uh, understanding. Uh, you know, that's a very important one. Then the next part uh, here, again, Jason Kava gave us, you know, in that same big paragraph, which I just stopped reading. I will not read the remaining paragraph. You know, uh, the, here Jason Kava gave us, you can use uh, an analogies, analogies in the image in the mirror. Image in the mirror of your face. You know, what you see your face in a clear mirror is a real. You can see as a real everything what you have, particularly those big mirror. You know, you can see everything, but it is not your real, real face. It is a reflection of your face. So see as a real as your face, but it is not real face. And these remaining lines are giving us, Jason Carver saying, you know, the, just... Think about this. And this is very good, uh, very, very wise advice. You know, the, in, the, in, the, in, the, in, the, in the example, you know, the image in the mirror, it's very, very, very clear for us. What, is, what we see in the mirror is not our real face. Yet, we'll see everything, all what, what the face, what we have, we've seen in the, you know, the, but it's not real face. And that is, you know, the giving us how to adjust slowly, you know, the appearance and the reality, you know, there's this gap, there's this disparity, and understanding that disparity, aware of that disparity is something very, very helpful. Less, uh, we will have less grasping, you know, less that kind of holding on the things and events, what we want, or what we just do, you know, what we don't want, and you know, the 
this, you know, that, that will sort of loosen the, you know, the, what you call the, uh, that, anyway, yeah. So that is the, this part which, uh, last week. Now today, uh, what I'm going to do, you know, the, we are going to look at this, the next session. The next session, which said, page uh, 157, Determination of the pheno uh, uh, phenomenal selflessness. Just give you a brief general explanation what under this section. So under this section, this section is part of the one of the previous section. You know, this section that we are reading is part of the one of the previous section. In the previous section, some time ago, you know, when we are reading the emptiness, and emptiness is what Jason Kabe said, emptiness can be explained relation to the one's own identity and one, you know, other than the one's own identities. You know, when emptiness is explained and meditated and understood relation to one's own identity, that is called emptiness of the person or selflessness of the person. When the emptiness is explained, taught, and meditated, other than the one's own, one's own uh, identity, like one's own body, one's own feelings, thoughts, possessions, outside universe, these are called emptiness of phenomena or selflessness of phenomena. So up to here is that emptiness of the person is explained, and now is emptiness of the phenomena. So what we will see in here in this section, Jason Kaba briefly to say, you know, the, the, although there's an emptiness, we can talk, we can explain, we can meditate on, we can study emptiness of the person and the emptiness of the phenomena as a separate, you know, the subject, but the reasons the arguments, the logics that we can apply to the, that we had apply, uh, we can apply to the to understand emptiness of the person is the same logic, same argument, same you know the anal analysis we can apply to the to understand emptiness of the phenomena. In other words, you know there's no extra uh, reasons to be explained or logics to be explained. If you apply it properly, correctly, to understand you know, the logics and arguments to understand emptiness of the person, you can apply same those logics, those arguments, to understand the emptiness of the phenomena. And that's what here under this. What Jesongkab has done here, he mentioned that, but he then he, could, uh, con he, he says there's one reason logic that I had not explained in the, when he was talking about emptiness of the person. When he was talking about emptiness of the person, if you remember, also we just saw the briefly we have seen, he explained five or four or five different uh, ways to argue emptiness of the person. And in here, what is what, that, the argument or the reasoning that he had not explained in the previous section, and that's what he is going to explain. And that is the argument that apply, you know, the reason that we can apply to understand emptiness, you know, the reason is dependent arising, dependent origination, which he had, hadn't explained in the previous group of the reasons or logics that he explained, and in this section that he's saying, I will explain that in you know, this one in uh, here. And that's what you can look at, you know, the, uh, hmm? uh, uh, so the, now the first paragraph is under this big paragraph. Now if you look at in the second paragraph, page five, 157, negating the self using the above reasoning, above reasoning, which I mentioned earlier, the above, you know, the, uh, in the, when Tsongkhapa argues selflessness of the person. Mm. But then he is saying, you know, the, uh, 
uh, later, then he said he's going to explain, you know, the, if you turn your page, page 158, uh, they're saying, refuting the phen uh, phenomenal self or the selflessness of phenomena with other new reasons showing the reason of relativity. So that's what I'm explaining. You know, that's what I'm explaining. So the, uh, the one, one important point before, you know, I read a little bit in here, I will not read any, any detail in this section. This section is something quite, you know, the useful, but it comes quite often, and I will not read all that detail. But I want to just give you the first, uh, this, overall, overall, you know, the, how, how, you know, uh, how it is possible, how it is possible the arguments, the reasons, the logics that you apply to understand emptiness, relation to the I, relation to the person, same those arguments, you know, uh, logics, can apply to understand emptiness of the phenomena, why that is possible. It is perfectly possible because according to here, in that section that we are reading, in that this section, in this you know, Madhyamika, Madhyamika school, within the Madhyamika, Chandakirti's, you know, the, uh, Chandakirti's version of Madhyamika section, these two emptiness, emptiness of the person and emptiness of the phenomena, in terms of the what to be rejected by the argument, by the reasoning, to understand emptiness, in terms of that what is negated, the technically called, what is negated, what is rejected by the argument, you know, the, uh, the, and when to understand emptiness of the person, to understand emptiness of the phenomena, there's no difference in terms of the subtleties. Both are equally same. There's no one is subtle, one is gross. Say, for example, understanding of uh, the, the, what is negated to understand emptiness of the person is gross, and what is negated emptiness to understand emptiness of the phenomena is subtle. Some of the other philosoph philosophical, Buddhist philosophical schools may say that, but in here, no. These two are only different is where it is negated, where it is rejected. Emptiness of the person is negated, rejected, that as intrinsic or inherent entity is negated rela relation to the person. And the emptiness of the phenomena, what is negated, that intrinsic inherent is negated relation to the other than the person. Otherwise, what is negated, what is uh, rejected, there's no difference whatsoever. Therefore, the arguments and logics that we apply to understand emptiness of the person can be applied to the emptiness, to understand emptiness of the phenomena, because what is regarding to the what is negated in these two understanding of emptiness, there's no difference. And that is the main, you know, the main thing, you know, the main sort of like for example. You know, the, uh, if you are searching a person, say, uh, you know, John, if you are searching a John, if you sort of get a very, very clear picture of John, image of John, then if you go to search room A to B, you can apply the same image. Whether John is in a room A or whether John or not, to the, also not whether John is in room B. You don't need to have a new one. Because what you are rejecting is, you are searching is the same person, John. Are they searching in the room A, B, C, D? Wherever you are searching, you are searching the same person. If you say John is not in a room, room A, also then you look at it. if John is not in a room B, you are searching the same person. And it is the same in here. You know, so therefore, this is the now the coming the 
a point is, you know, the, uh, Jason Carpenter is saying, you know, the, the, the new, here says, other new reason, the new reason is dependent arising. To say that, you know, things and events, or to say the person, individual, the doer, the experiencer is, you know, the empty or is absence of any form of intrinsic entity, any form of inherent entity as a person, as a doer, because, because the person, doer, actor is dependently arising, dependent, dependently arising nature, not intrinsic, independent nature. So that logic, that what is in the argument, in the reason, dependently arising, that logic is not explained in the above group of the logic that he explained, and this is what here Jason Kappa saying, saying I'm going to explain here. And this logic is considered as a, one of the main logic that applied by the Nagarjuna and Aryadev to argue, to argue the emptiness of the things and events. And in this logic is quite often, it is called the king of the logic to, to argue, to refute any form of intrinsic or inherent entity. You know, king of the... So, you know, the logic of the king, the uh, king of the logic, and then there is dependent arising. Why it is called, why it, is, why it has a, uh, you know, the, what you call the, you know, the uh, king of the logic, because the reason, what is stated in the reason, you know, because uh, what is stated in the reason is dependently arising, you know, and dependently arising in the, in, the, in the, whatever it might be, the person, the individual, or the object. If that object, if, that, uh, if the person is dependently arising nature, then that person, that object, should not, should not have any kind of independent nature. Because dependent nature, dependent arising nature, and independent nature are mutually exclusive. These two cannot be coexist at once. If the thing is independent nature, then that thing shouldn't be dependently arising nature. If that thing is in a dependent arising nature, then that thing, whatever it might be, important, not important, that thing should not have in any form of independent nature. And that's also one of the uh, one reason. Another reason, now this dependent arising nature uh, reasoning is called, you know, the king of reasoning to refute any uh, refute any form of intrinsic nature, because it is said this logic can eliminate two extremes in the view. Two extremes in the view. The extreme of nihilism and extreme of eternalism. Extreme of nihilism and extreme of eternalism. Many of the logics which I explained earlier may have the ability to, ex to, to, to refute, to, to exclude, or to refute, or to eliminate extreme of eternalism may not have may not have ability to you know, dispel the extreme of nihilism, you know, the extreme, uh, extreme view of nihilism. But this logic, it says, have both you know, the capability to refute, to eliminate both extreme views. Extreme view of nihilism, that is, believing you know, things do not exist, and extreme view of eternalism, that is believing that things, events, have some form of eternal, intrinsic, inherent nature. 
and this logic can dispel the bold extreme views to the person who apply this reason. And that is what here this, you know, uh, so I will not read all, but uh, if you look at in the page uh, 159, page 159, from the top in the second, uh, in, the, in the second, you know, the, uh, what you call the, you know, paragraph, paragraph which starts saying, uh, here, there are two chief main points of resistance that uh, obstruct the correct view. The one is the uh, refutatory. Anyway, uh, I used earlier eternalism. Eternalist view or absolute view, that is an absolute view or eternalist view, that has a fixed orientation toward uh, truth habits that hold on the uh, hold, hold to the truth status in the things, as I mentioned, some kind of intrinsic inherent entity at a, as a table, as a uh, watch, as a pen, as a book. That is that view is eternal, eternalistic view, or the absolute, absolute, ab, absolute, abs, how do how do you pronounce? Absolutist view, yeah, eternalist view. The other one is this. The other one, uh, the other is so I put nihilist, yeah, nihilist view, which goes too far by not uh, appraising the me measure of the negative, and it becomes unable to incorp incorporate in its system the statute uh, because cause and, uh, uh, about cause and effect. In other words, relativity that I can touch, I can see, I can feel, table can function. Even that kind of existence is saying these are illusion, that they don't exist. So rejecting that kind of conventional re levels of reality. You know, the, and it, that is called nihilist view. And for the Buddhist practitioner, for the Buddhist practitioner, you know, oneself, one's own, you know, the understanding of the things and events being free from both extreme view is important. It is not in the good enough, or it is, it is not enough just to be free from eternalistic view or nihilistic view. You know, that's what here the, the, the view is called middle way, you know, middle way view, you know, the, mm, being free from. And it, if you look at a little bit on that, you know, uh, the same paragraph, uh, down a little bit down, it says, these two views are completely eliminated by the negation of intrinsic reality based on the, uh, uh, based on the resort and such as, uh, uh, yeah, uh, that uh, brings certainty. So in other words, this kind of logic, saying things and events are, you know, uh, uh, dependently arising, arising using that logic using that understanding, you know, seeing, understanding the things and events are dependently arising, not intrinsic, not independent, that understanding will really dispel the bold, you know, extreme views. And that's what here, this, uh, this part. I mean, there are further uh, few things to be said, but today I will leave it here. So now I'm, I'm going to read my Tibetan uh, text, part of the oral transmission. So you can rest, you can meditate, you can, you know, the, what's called, you know, all people who are hurried to leave, you can go. It's up to you. Because here it's really part of giving oral transmission. Mainly I'm giving this oral transmission to these four walls. And... <laughs> So if you want to listen, you can just listen. Hmm? I'm going to read a little bit more today because, you know, this, during this program, I have to finish reading this, and still we have some pages left. 
ตั้งเงาทาวาตาตาจบาเจเจสุนเดนเดนตานีชมบอลุรุยับเสกเจจุลานามะบาเตจิเรเดเรริกวานัมเจนานเนเตนจุงเกริกวาจบราชาวอาชีวะกุเวกอสาตุกุรุเจตังวะสงวานะเตระตวะเตตังเกกอสาโซเนญีเตจิงเนเอจิงเนเชนะมาลาเตวะเชนะลาเตมบระจิมเบติจิงเ
ngobo ngobo yoba ma wa ta wa ma da de chi se do ngobo de yoba tingi tingi yin ba te se do te da rang ge ngo nya yu yoba ni yin ni la te ze rang ge ngo yoba na te ve te ze te la ngobo na na ba tam je do me be chi re ri pong ge ra ta ta ve ni so ma wa ya ma de be chi re di ngobo ra do ba di re ngobo do ba ta tam je di ka wa ju ro she so sum ba ta ni kang ge Sizune tena rang rangi ngu tena rangi ngu mebe yuta tamje ta tini rangi ngu tube junde jokzu nama meta tamje le chowa la shiba yu meje ta zanda tawe kosa ta ni tun ta ni tun meje ba tela ta tela na namche riba le ta ni sedan jucha ta nye ta nga chow ta ma ba wo shi sun ba ta ta nama rang lu la ya ke le me jang ta de shi Shebe tawe ta tawe ta kose tawe ta kose ta ne uma na wale kade uma ba la kade uma la semge rang shing rang dani ji ngobo te ten ta ba chen rong wa shi yoba juna ne te se te la te yobe ta go ta go she me ta go she chao ngobo ra she ba yang chitara 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 Tara juro te te ngobo te kona ni te chita wa shi jizu sun shi tsu shi yi la che ba ni ta tung wara ni so shi cha wara ri ba ma yi no shi chi ni shi chita ra ni be ten la te dar to yi la che ba te ta we ni ta we ni ta we ni mi ba tan zi mi ba tan zi mi ba sun ba ta ra yi be ji de sun ba ta yi ji de na ta ya la ta ta te la tung ma na hong tung ba na ma wa ta che na ma te mbara zi ba ta chi Jiyā madu bara yumē mē bara mē bara zimbā ni yāng tā bē tūn jī tūk chū jī tā jī jī tā tā wā yīn jī chū nāma tēn bā tūn tā bār mē bā tā lēn tē sū tā nī tū yū bā zimbā ni tā zī mē tē tā zī mē tē sūng tū tā zī mē tē sūng wā tār tū yū tē tē tā rā nē bē chī rī tē ngā bā tē shī jī nē zūn tū lē rāng shī mē bā nī lōng rāng shī nī tū rā bā jū jū shī tūn tā bā mē bā Ina te yobara sumbata tanye ke le tanye ke ne malen tanye ke ne malen ba ne cha che ba me che ba shi da tu mne tu ju ba le di ni di den di jong shi jong ji den su di rab du du che sung be che ro tu ba yu me 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 ni so tara tung tara tung ba na ci za ma la che ba ne te na Te te na shi de yu shi de yu ba me ba ta te na shi de yu ba me ba ta me ba me yu yu ba ni ta me ba me ba ta yu be me be ke shi ni lo ma ma lo ki ke ba ra za ma do se di ni ke tun lo la cha zu la chi za ma ta jian ke ba ra chung se di me be che na zu de ta ra do me do ma wa ni si za ma la sa wa se do ni ba te da ri ba nga ma du je na wa du je du ma che jian de me do du zu la chung ni Nile tambo duma che te me tu Nile du che De me do ri be tu na du ma che na De me do du la wa za shi Dio kong pa den pa ni Te ta ra kang sa ta Che du che Che du che na ma ngara shi Be ri wa na ma che De me do du na Nam ka ta su su tang ko ta Ta ma ta ta mi Dio kong pa la su Ti shi ni la su wa ta Du ma che na ma De me do Che chung u tu Du pa ra du la za shi le Du che ra du ma du pa Du ma che na ma che ta du Shi sun su ni pa Te jun zi ni Ko la te jun ni Te ni du la wa ni Dujie rang shin jie du, dujie rang shin jie du ba ngara Ngara tar ka pa na rang shin jie ma du ba jang te Te na ma la ching du dan jun de dan Shai cha jie jie so cha jie na cha jie xa be chok ba Cha jie be chok ba du na te da na dujie na Chu nyi da da chu nyi da dang go da bu ya Dang go da bu ya den ba ra ma du Den ba ra me den ba ra ma du ba jang Lam jie top jia dan na jie Dujie dujie jam ne kun jo du Jok ba so jie nam sha Nam ba le bo re le bo re sha ba chok pe te Nam ba la te nam ba re ke lang ba Ke ma lang na te nam ba Sha gu be nam sha te mi te chi yam Mi te chi kan ya ma re Me be te nam ba de nam ba re ke lang ba Dun me do sun ba Dun ma ji chun ni da Sun ba dun ma ji chun ni da Gok ten so Rang shin ji de nam ba re du ba ya Den de ji ri be gu zu ne te nam ba De nam ba re du be jang ta ki Te ta ki Tetaki, Tetaki, Tenzun, 
Tedruta, Tendeta, Samash, Sama, Sama D, Shawa Sodian, Jana, do go by down, Gula, do down, do the Tet, Tanamarangi, Topja, Dan, Sinia, Dan, Shiala, Soba, Madena, and Deme, Tamje, Sinzin, Sozo, Juve, Dola, Wam, and Juve, and Dawa, Dunani, Ranchinji, Dube, Tuba, Shella, Tuba, Shella, Dawa, Miron, Wandawa, Josito, Miron, Shiva, Chitu, Dejo, Jacob, Tejendo, Jitu, Reda, Jitan. Tade Tane Gabra Chate Chigbe Chabane Dirata Dendo Deva Gaminuna Duji Laya Nabata Naba Kundo Sumbe Temba Chunse Gong Minuba Juro Naba Duje Ranjing Duje Ranjing Tombara Chedon da Tiji Dijin ye den rub do de wa tong ye do go zu da ka de du je rang xin ye du be rang ge ngu tong wa xie be tu ni chu te la te ngu me be tu yin be che be tong wa yin na di xin ni la di xin ni la ni rang ge ngu yin be den bo lo yu do ni ma de ni du je na ma rang xin ye du be tong bo lo den la be qin ji tong ba den la ba be qin ji lo ge ko za ta tu ba du je ge den de la ku wa ta be ta wa yin ta wa yin xin qi ma ni rang ge ngu yu na den rub do do den rub do 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 ji ta wa mi ze ba yin be yang da be ta yang da be tong ni ji ta la lo ba de shu so tu ba te da ra tu ba te da ra ngu ni ra ra ngu tong be ko na la ko na ko ra ko ra me be tu ni la che ga ya de ba de ba tam ja wa che so ja ra xin ji tu ni tong che ga ya de ba de zin ba me de de ka de ra xin ji du be ra ge tong ni ji tong ba ni de ko ra ko ra me ba yi na ra la me ba ni ga ya yo ba mi se be chu ka se de ba ra tam ja wa ke ba da te du be lu ri la so ba nam ja ra xin ji du be ra ge ngu ya tong ba yi la shi je shi ma du shi ma du be chu shi ma du be chu ra ga wa shi de ba ra du be ta jo ba ni ta ba ju be ta ba ju ro jang be ta ba ra ju ge do ma wa wo de ba ri be ha wo li bi ye So today we'll go straight to do the uh, recitation, and the, that is in page 28, praises to 21 panels, and the, you know, the dedication at the end. So first, page 28 in the prayer book, uh, dedication, uh, no, uh, the praises to 21 panels. Om je tu ma pa ma tu ma la cha ce lo Chang zi tu ma nyu ma pa mo Che ne ge je lo ta ta ma Che te sum gu chu ji che ji Khe sa chi wa le ni chu ma Chang zi tu ge ta wa kun du Kang wa je ne zi be she ma Kama tong da tso ba nam ji, rab du che ve ve ra ba ra ma, chan zi sing u chu ni ji ji, pe me chan ni nam ba ra ji ma, jim ba zun du ka du shi wa, so ba sam ding ju ni ma, chan zi te shin shi be zu du, ta e nam ba ra ji wa ju ma, ma li pa ru jim ba tu be, te ve se ji shin du te ma, chan zi du da ra hon yi ke, du da cho da nam ka ka ma jik de dung bo shav ji nen de lu ba me ba gu ba nu ma chang zi de jin me la chang ba lung la na zo wang chu chu ma chung bo rong la ji sa nam da nu jun cho ji du ne du ma chang zi de ji cha dan pe ji pa ro tu gu rab du jun ma e gong yin jang shav ji nen de me ba tu ba shin du ba ra ma chang zi du ri ji ba Chang-zai-rab-do-gawa-ji-pe-u-jin-we-ji-ten-wa-pe-ma Shiba-rab-shi-tu-da-ra-yi Du-dang-jik-ten-wang-du-zai-ma Chang-zai-sa-shi-kyong-we-cho-nam Tam-jai-gu-ba-nu-ma-ni-ma Chong-yi-ye-wa-yi-ge-hong-gi Pung-ba-tam-jai-nam-ba-ra-du-ma Chang-zai-da-we-dum-bu-u-ji Jian-ba-tam-jai-shin-du-ba-ra-ma Rebe-tu-ne-wa-ba-me-le 
Tanzekebetama Ebahunletomanyema, Hada Dedications in the last page. Chanjo sem cho re bo che ma che pa na che ju ro che che pa Nyamba me paya kone kondo pewa sho Tobze changshin jamgun jawete Zingyo pewe kunsu toporo Chosumo ku lengme tojo pa Daso duj gundu shabdensho Kare rave korve shingam de Pendan dewa malu chungwe ne Chere sewa tenzin jazo yi Shabe sede padu tenjo Oh, yeah. Thank you. Thank you. Have a safe journey back. It's very cold. And, yeah. and